I will worry about that later. Anyway, so we inserted a table and we have the link to Google. I'm just going to put it in every one. Alright, let's look at this in Firefox. No. Yes. <laughs> and there you go, we just populated each cell of each row with a link. Now let's uh let's see if we can find some some pictures. You give it the source when you say insert image. Um, need to find some images. Here we go. Alright. So you say image Actually, how about this? Go to Google. We'll find an image. Um, there we go. Go here. Click on that. And copy. There's location. And then go in here and size source. Say OK. There we go. Now we'll preview that in the browser. And there's. Actually, that's strange. Huh. parameters so it goes back to the right ones. Maybe that. There we go. Now it's not so stretched out. So you've seen a few examples of how we use the insert tag to put in tables or the insert uh, panel I should say to put in tables to put in images. And there's also a lot of of other things like comments, okay, say we don't want this image anymore. Click on comment, save it, and it goes away. Um, you can also insert all this stuff that you need up here in the head section of your HTML document. Um, put in meta values, you can put in Whoops, clicking on the icon there, I need to click on this arrow. Keywords, uh, let's just say sample keyword. Blah, blah. There we go. You see, I put that in there. And you can see, uh, you can add links to other places, which I don't really use that much. 
So I think those are probably the most important ones. There's also the script the script tag here, which is pretty nice. Um, if you have any JavaScript or uh, any of these other things, VBScript, ECMA, A, by ECMA script. Then we have uh, all these options you see here. Also, we have uh, an email link. So, say at the bottom, you know, after you've made your web page, you want to go down and you want to say, okay, email me. So, the text is going to be email me. And then you just give me your email. Call it skylamp.com. There we go. Let me refresh this down here. And let's view this in Firefox. Oh wow! Well, even even ask you know which one do you want to use? So that's pretty cool. But that's in the browser, not in Dreamweaver. We can also put in a horizontal rule, which is actually just as easy as typing HR. But if you want to use the Insert tab, you can. Do it just like that. So I have two horizontal rules. Put in the date, which is actually uh, one function that I use a lot. And Dreamweaver makes putting in the date really easy. And I guess that's pretty much it for the inserts. Um, remember to uh, check out. And all the other of our tutorials here and subscribe. Alright, thanks.